Two new Mexican restaurants have opened up in the key city during the holiday season. Many people have been raving about them on Facebook. Our Annabelle Tuggle went to visit these restaurants to see why they have both opened up during the holiday season and why they are now getting attention. Homemade beans and rice, fresh chips and salsa, and I've been here four times in the last two weeks. These are what some people call the best combo, especially Joel Villarreal, who has now found one of his new favorite restaurants. They make you feel like you're at home, so it's home away from home. He says it's because the food is authentic. Now there are two new Mexican restaurants in the key city that serve authentic Mexican food, and many people are talking about them on Facebook. I never expected this to really happen. Try to make it a better service. Celso's and Mexico Viejo. I just felt like Abilene needed a little more. Both owners of these restaurants came from out of town and said Abilene needed some more authentic Mexican food, deciding to open their own locations. It started getting closer. I was getting frightened to open. Because, like I said, this is new new to me as being an owner. The owner of Celso's, Andres Martinez, says they open during a time that brings in the lowest amount of business for Mexican restaurants. December and January were going to be like the slowest. Because it's understandable, a lot of people go out, visit family, vacations, and... They're doing surprisingly well, which Martinez attributes to their service. And over at Mexico Viejo, owner Mayel Perez says their fresh food is the key to their success. I cook everything fresh every day. You know, it's not in the can. They're know. both hoping business will get even better after this holiday season with the good reviews they've already been getting so far. In Abilene, Annabelle Tuggle, KRBC, Abilene's Local News. Thanks, Annabelle. Celsos is located at the 3500 block of North First, and Mexico Viejo is located on East Overland Trail by Lowe's.